All right, so where I left off on last week was showing you guys how to cut sections through this topography model. But before that, um, I thought that I would take a step back and show you how you could actually prepare and export a site plan um, using these lines. So I've gone ahead and imported the center lines of the roads into this document as well, and that is going to help me construct the curbs and the sidewalks. The first thing I want to do actually is after looking at the background imagery, I decided I wanted a better quality image to work off of. So I'm just going to open up Google Earth Pro and navigate to the site I'm working on. And I'm going to zoom in here and then just try to match it up basically with what I've already got in my Rhino file. So I'll just pan over here and then just double check my Rhino file to see what I can see on the edges. And um, now I'm going to use the reset tilt and compass just to make sure that I'm properly oriented north. And I'll go into my file save image options and turn off um, the stuff that I don't need. Um, it's showing up labels and stuff. So you can go into the tool or the view sidebar and then just turn off labels and roads. And now I'll go back into file save image and uh, navigate to my folder and just save this as a background file. I'm gonna export it at the highest maximum quality that I can. And now we have to go into Rhino and actually match this up to what we have. So I'm going to drag this in as a picture and match it up to the base point here and just try to match it up to the edge here. It's not going to be exact, but it should be um, in relatively the right place. Now I'm going to just put it on its own layer called Google IMG and um, select the image and then change the object layer. And then I'm going to go into the properties over here and go to the um, texture and drag that up to 50% uh, transparency just so I can see through and see where um, it's not lining up with the current ortho. So the best way to line up something is to take a look at the ortho from van maps that you have um, aligned with the line work that uh, came out of it. It's not going to be exactly precise, but what you want to do is look for a building where the line work and the um, orthographic building kind of line up pretty well. And so I found one on Main Street over here that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to use this as the sort of um, target for my Google image. So I'm just going to move this using the M command, M for move. And I'm going to select a point on the corner here and then drag it over to the edge of the building profile. And if I turn back on the, the 2020 ortho, I can see that I need to rotate this a little bit. So I'm going to use the RO command for rotate. And then I select my base point where I want it to remain fixed. And I just choose this building edge over here. And now if I turn on my orthos back and forth, I can see they're pretty much in the same spot. Now you might have to do a little bit of scaling as well if yours doesn't come in at the right exact scale then you can use the SC command for scale and select a base point that matches with the building and just use scale to sort of line it up. Now I'm gonna go over to my Riley Park site and just use my gumball to sort of slightly align this um, better with what's underneath because this is the area I'm gonna be focused on, on the most. So I want it to be as aligned as possible. And now if I kind of check all of my orthos, they look like they're all relatively in the same spot. So. Now we can go and um, start refining our curbs and sidewalks in the next video.